Welcome back to the Good Old Boys channel. Before you skip ahead, we got some important information. So this is uh, part two of the hydraulic pump, but it's part three of the frame machine rebuild video. So I've gone through the solenoid and valve body. So if you guys want to check that video out, it'll be linked in the description box below, as well as the previous part to the hydraulic pump that we're going over in this video. This is going to be the continued part of video for the hydraulic pump. And of course, we're going to be rebuilding the cylinders as well. So if you guys are looking for that video, it'll also be in the description box below. So that's it, guys. Let's finish looking at this hydraulic pump and then we'll move on to the cylinder. So here we go. So this is your high pressure valve body here. You guys can see a lot better here. So this is what it looks like. The valve body, the main valve body of the high pressure pump here is very simple itself. There's really nothing to it other than you have three springs and check balls in it. This is a low pressure pump uh, pressure setting screw. Uh, it's the shortest one on the kind of the left hand side here. The high pressure setting is in this big long piece here that you guys can see. It's got a check ball and a big spring in there. You guys need to check through these. Make sure that your springs aren't broken if you're not getting good pressure because these have a lot to do with that. I had broken springs. I put some spacers in there and made the old springs work. Uh, I couldn't, I wasn't sure where to get springs for this pump at. I'm sure you could find them somewhere, but I couldn't find them. And then this last, like I said, the black screw by my middle finger here, that's got a check ball and spring in it, I believe as well. So just check through those, make sure there's no broken springs or anything like that. All right, so I'm cleaning that off. Right here, you guys can see a spring and this special piece in here that allows oil to flow. Uh, but uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but that's what it looks like to spring and whatever you call that thing. So we got kind of the middle part of the valve body here, and there is a certain way to put this together. So you guys can see the three holes in the center they're smaller and then the three holes just beyond that are bigger holes so you can see ever so slightly that there's three rings on this piece here so that faces downward on that main square valve body there alrighty guys so let's make this part of the video super clear because this is an easy part of the pump to get parts mixed up flipped around and and whatnot so the part that i'm talking about that has the three rings are uh here and here there's actually two rings and what this is is an imprint from the square part of the valve body so if you see these two or three rings or whatever you're going to know automatically that which way the the middle uh we'll call it the middle section of the high pressure pump so right here you guys can see the square and the the high pressure pump which we're going to call the lower section or the first section we have the middle section which is a round section and then the top section which is another round section so to be clear here we're talking about the middle section of the high pressure hydraulic pump and as you guys can see we have three small holes in the center and the outer holes the outer three holes are larger so that that face the the face of the middle section that has three smaller holes in the center is going to go downwards on the square section of the high pressure pump now what i'm showing you guys here are the i-shaped prints um so this is the this is the same piece this is the middle piece of the high pressure pump uh body you can see the three inner holes are large and the three outer holes are small. So this part is facing upwards. And I'll hopefully show that here in a minute. So the I-shaped pieces, the reason they're I-shaped is because of this right here. You guys can kind of see the I-shape. Um, 
in in this right here so uh basically it's where this piston this is the top section of the high pressure pump it's where the piston high pressure pistons are moving back and forth and you have these machined i-shaped cutouts that are in this part of the valve body there's the piston that's what your piston should look like something else to mention here you guys can see how square one end of the piston is and i don't know if i show you but right here you can see a good example of how rounded the tops of the pistons are so you want the rounded off part of the pistons up at the top and on the bottom right here you can see they're flat so make sure you have them in there the correct direction what else here uh there's three check balls and well there's six check balls and springs and weird things and uh these valve bodies here or these uh yeah these bodies so right here you can see the springs go in the big holes i'm putting them in the three outer bigger holes here so check ball first then the, another check ball another check ball spring so i put the spring in there and the weird thing the weird shaped piece that we were talking about earlier sticks out the top like this so in the big holes you got the check ball the spring and then the weird piece sticking out like that right and again, you can see that bullseye shaped pattern, the three smaller holes in the center, three bigger holes on the outside. This part is gonna go downward on this hydraulic valve. And you can see the bullseye shape on the square part of the high pressure valve here. So in order to get these check balls to stay in here, what I do is flip the square block upside down onto this middle block of the high pressure pump then you can take in well I, I messed up there the springs fell out so it takes some finesse but when you get it correct this is what you do is you can uh the springs and valves if they're the springs and balls check balls if they're in there correctly you flip this thing back over right side up and then what you're going to do is you don't have to take these pistons out here's a the part that I'm showing you where it's square on one end and uh, where well, you could see really good in that picture it was square at least but one ends round one end square again make sure um, it goes in there the correct way all right so I'm cleaning that off cleaning stuff up now you can see we have the three bigger holes in the center this time in the middle block of the high pressure pump and again I'm just lining stuff up. Um, you do have to clock the, uh, you don't, I guess the bottom, this, or I should say this middle piece that I'm rotating right here, all you have to do is line the holes up. There's no certain way to clock that one piece there. So when I'm talking about lining up the holes, I'm talking about lining up the bolt holes uh, obviously, those are the very outer holes on the midsection of the high pressure pump, and it's the circle of bolt holes, obviously, on the square bottom section of the high pressure pump. Now, this next piece um, does have to be clocked. So, what I'm doing here, as you can see, the three bigger holes in the center, I'm going to put a check ball in there. I dropped one, had to find it. All right, so, anyways same process here so we're going to put the check balls in there then the spring with a special thing facing upwards and then this piece right here you guys can see that we got three bigger holes um, where the pistons go on the uh, three kind of like outer holes there hopefully you guys can see that this part here basically all you're doing is so i got a quick little explanation for you guys hopefully this along with the video will help you guys figure out which way this pump goes together so a uh, couple things here the top of the middle section of the pump you guys saw it has the eyelet shaped imprints on it 
uh, from the oil going through there. So what causes those is the cavity on the bottom side of the top part of the pump. My best word of advice is just to match up that imprint on the middle part of the pump with the cavity on the top part of the pump. So it's important to note that the top and bottom side of the middle part of the pump are different. You should already have the bottom and middle section of the pump put together. So at this point, you're looking down on the top of the middle section. You should see three bigger holes in the center and three smaller holes just outside the three larger holes. On the top of the middle part of the pump, you should also see the three eyelet shaped imprints. When you're lining the top part of the pump with the middle part of the pump, what you're looking for is you want to look down in the piston hole. Now, of course, you have to remove the piston to look down through the piston hole. So if you have the I-shaped imprint lined up with the I-shaped cavity, what you should be looking for and seeing down through the piston hole is a check ball. Now, of course, it's not going to be a whole check ball. What you're looking at is the small hole in the middle section of the pump where you can just see the part of the check ball sticking up. Because remember, the in the small holes, if you're looking at the small hole from the top, the check ball is on the back side of that. So you should see a, a shiny part of a check ball when you're looking down through the piston hole when the pump is all stacked and put together. So if you see the check ball through the piston hole, you know you have everything lined up correctly. And of course, don't forget to put all your check balls uh, and springs in the middle section of the pump. So those are my words of advice. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, you just got to make sure you got it clocked right. Use your common sense. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Now, once you got it clocked right, you can go ahead and put the center bolt in there to kind of help line everything up and keep it held together. And then you can go on ahead and put the rest of these bolts in there. Keep in mind, you don't want to tighten you don't want to tighten all these bolts down you want to leave them loose until you slide the high pressure pump into the low pressure pump and then you tighten them up because you can be out of alignment and it'll um it'll make it hard to slide the high pressure pump into the low pressure pump housing because it's a pretty tight fit so once again i'm showing you guys the pistons here so that's that's a rounded end of the piston um, and then the squared off end so the squared off end squared off end is going to go down in the piston holes first so that's the next step is to uh, lube up and put in the three pistons pretty simple pretty easy you can put the rest of these in here um, again don't tighten them down all the way Okay, so right here you can see I'm using an old trick. This is where that spring, uh, spring and check ball comes in and the O-ring uh, comes in here as well. So right here you can see I put grease in there to hold the spring in place and I put the spring in, right? All right, now you can see I'm shaking it, spring doesn't come out. So that's what you need to do. You need to put some kind of grease in there to hold the spring. Next is the check ball. Now the check ball goes up in the end of the pump. Okay, right here. So you guys can see the dimple in the center of the low pressure into the pump here in the very center. That's where that check ball goes. So I don't know if I end up showing you guys or not. Here we go. Um, all I'm doing is putting some grease in there. And then I'm tipping it up to help that check ball stay. It is a little difficult, but you can see it down in there. So I'm going to zoom in on it. It's stuck in there with grease, right? So that's all you need to do. Now, right here where I'm pointing to or where my index finger is that's where your little rubber o-ring goes you don't want to leave that out um, 
it can cause a low pressure situation obviously now on the pump where i'm pointing here you can see that's where that o-ring mates um to that uh high pressure pump there and you can see it a little bit better here it goes into that hole there again right where i'm pointing to with my index finger here so you want to line that spot up there with the o-ring right here okay so when you put this together you want to clock it right and it's pretty obvious because you have that 90 degree elbow line that connects to here where my index finger is uh, so you also have to line that up as well which makes it pretty hard to screw up which direction this thing goes so basically like i said um you need to put this together now you can see this is where i messed up oops so i tightened all these screws on the high pressure valve body before i put it in there and it was out of alignment just enough to where it uh, wouldn't slide in there so once i loosen those back up the pump just slipped right down into there all right next um i'm retightening high pressure pump bolts that are in the center this seven of them now we have the elbow you want to get this at least started next so if i can zoom out here here we go um so like i said just get this started um, you need a little bit of wiggle room um but you can see I'm tightening it first and it, it doesn't hurt to tighten it. It will make sure everything's clocked perfectly. What are we doing? We're looking at this high pressure uh, release valve. You have the ball that goes in there, the special nut shaped piece, the spring, and then I have my custom nut spacer. This is just a normal nut that I jammed in there and then Right here, you can see in the end of the high pressure relief valve here, you have a hole. So, so this is the, this is where the fluid comes out of the high pressure relief valve here. And basically, depending on how tight you tighten any of these check ball uh, settings, you can either higher the pressure or lower the pressure. Obviously, loosen to lower the pressure, tighten to higher the pressure higher the pressure right now i'm showing you the low pressure um release valve here pressure release setting and valve right here the hole that i'm pointing at that's where the pressure releases from that so that's all there is to the high pressure pump all right guys so that's it for the hydraulic pump hopefully everything made sense if not maybe just leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer your questions Alrighty guys, so the next videos coming up are going to be on the cylinders. Don't forget there's also the other videos for the hydraulic pump and the valve body release mechanism that will be linked in the description box below. So go check those videos out. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out that description box below and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Woo. It's all about humanity.